He's six foot, five inches tall. Plus, all of his fights have been by a TKO. And he has an 80 inch reach. The story coming next. Hey there, Must Live MMA fans. Susan Sigari here. And guess who I'm sitting next to? Greg Hardy, an American top team Coconut Creek. What's shaking, Greg? Not so much, hanging tough. Mm -hmm. Before we start our interview today, I gotta wish you a big, what is it, 3-0 happy birthday now? Yes, ma'am, 30. What are you gonna do with your birthday? Um, just a whole lot of hard work and hopefully a victory. All right, we like to hear that. Now, you are coming up on your second appearance on Dana White's Contender Series. You have a new opponent. How are you preparing differently for this particular opponent? Um, you know, it's honestly the same game plan. You just want to come back in and we wanted to work on my basics. You know, it's the beginning of my career, it's the beginning of my um, learning in the mixed martial arts world. So we just wanted to make sure all the basics were fine too. So this is your second time on Dana White's Contender Series. And Gordon has just been called up for his fight. Do you think that gives you an advantage? Because he's technically just coming up from the minor league, so to speak. Yeah, honestly, I think, you know, once you step into the octagon, it's all the level playing field. But, you know, I'm here at American Top Team. I train with the best, and I feel like I am putting in more work, so. You know, you've had great success on your feet. You have a four-inch reach over your opponent. So the game plan would be to continue the stand-up one. Yes, ma'am. You know, just strike, stay out of range, and um, keep my move, keep my movement and distance at the same, you know, ratio as it was last fight, and try to make sure that right hand lands. Have you had a chance to look at any tapes on Gordon? Uh, yes, ma'am. You know, we watched everything that's out there, and uh, we've gotten familiar with the opponent. But uh, mostly, it's just going to be about me and be about staying in the pocket and making sure I do what I'm taught. And do what you always do, which is punch, baby, punch. <laughs> yes, <ma 'am. laughs> do you have any pre-fight rituals? Not yet, I'm, I'm working on it. This is just my um, second professional fight, uh, fifth professional uh, fight overall, so I'm working up to rituals as we speak. Did you get nervous going into the fight? Uh, you know, not really. More excited, more focused, more locked in. What do you think about the fact that Dana White's Contender Series is offering you a developmental deal? What does that mean, or can you talk about that? I'm, I don't mind talking about it at all. I think it was a great deal for me. You know, I think it was custom made for me personally just so that I could develop. You know, it's a, an initial reaction to a great knockout of my athletic ability and it gives me the time to just focus on my fundamentals and, you know, making my way up the ranks. Speaking of the Contender Series, did you get a chance to see Dana White's reaction to your last fight? I didn't get to see it initially. Everybody was telling me about that. I was just like, what are you talking about? And then I saw it later. I was like, oh, this is awesome. So you know, I was really excited about it. I was very happy to see it. Who would have thought that less than a year ago, we'd be sitting here at American Top Team and you'd be on Dana White's Contender Series for the second time. It seems like just yesterday that I was up in Port St. Lucie, was it? Yes, Yeah, Port St. Lucie, Florida, and you were fighting your first MMA fight. <laughs> How do you feel? It's been kind of a roller coaster for you, know? It's been a whirlwind experience, honestly. Um, I couldn't have asked for more help. I couldn't have asked for a better place to train at, and it just started rolling, you know? I, I stuck with it. I always make sure I'm prepared. I always make sure I'm ready. My camp always does the same thing, and, you know, the opportunity has just been constantly presenting itself, so it's amazing. I don't know if you remember or if you can take us back to that moment because we have that video um, of you entering the cage. What was going through your mind that night as you were walking and making your first mixed martial arts appearance? Um, in Port St. Lucie? Yes. It was, that was nerves. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was definitely nerves. Um, I didn't know what to think, honestly. You know, I was just in there and my main focus was to stay focused. <laughs> you know, just don't lose it and Make sure my, my, my goals are locked in. You know, don't don't let it slip into the crowd. Don't let it slip into the semantics of, of the fighting and uh, just you know the rigmarole. I'm going to read you a quote from the big boss. That's Dana White, folks. By the way, Dana, I'm the baseball girl. Courtesy of yeah, we like baseball, Dana White and I. And this quote comes courtesy of BJ Penn. And I'll read to you what Dana White said about Greg Hardy. People always make mistakes, and the thing about making mistakes is how do you recover from that? How do you act after you've done something bad, White said. This guy has paid his dues, and like I said, he hit rock bottom. He built himself back up, he's going out there, and he's fighting in these amateur fights where he doesn't get paid. Now he came here, and I think he made $10,000. He's working his way back up the ladder. He's doing the right things, and he's trying to change his life. 
How did that make you feel? You know, it made me feel great. It's good to hear that uh, somebody's actually willing to give me an opportunity. And for someone in my position, that's the biggest thing. You know, the first step is to have someone that's willing to give you the opportunity to do better. So, you know, that's a, a, a monumental thing for me. It's early, but have you given any thought as to who you'd like to fight down the road? Um, you know, at this point, it's honestly whoever shows up next. You know, whoever Dana and my camp thinks that uh, should be in the ring with me, that's who I'm going to attack head on. All right. Before we go today, can you give us your social media handles and anything else you want to add? Um, Greg is monster. Greg is monster. Future very, very tough guy. Alexia Lennox. Oh, yeah. Number right. nine in the world right there. Number nine? Number nine in the world. I like that number, number nine. All right. All right, Greg Hardy, thanks so much for taking the time to interview with us. We wish you good luck on your fight August 7th. By the way, MMA, UFC, and Must Love MMA fans, you can catch that fight August 7th, Dana White's Contender Series on UFC Fight Pass. And you can check out the link below for more information. Subscribe, get it, watch Greg on his next fight.